Hi, my name is Sean Shahan. I'm the fitness director here at Prestige Fitness, and I'm going to be going over the policy and procedures that we have here in the club. First off, you want to make sure that you give us 30 days notice for any type of vacation or time off. Uh, we want to make sure that we're accommodating all of our clients' needs as much as we possibly can. So if you're going to be gone for an extended period of time, please make sure you're supplying your clients with homework and also give them the option to train with a, another trainer or substitute trainer while you're away. For all time off that you're going to be doing, whether it be an extended vacation or a few days off, please notify all of upper management. Send them an email and the dates and times that you're going to be off. We completely understand that emergencies happen, so God forbid there is a, f a family emergency, just please notify management as, as soon as you can and let your clients know that you're not going to be in. Uniforms. You always want to make sure you are wearing your uniform while training on the floor. Any type of prestige branded shirt that has been given to you is going to be uh, acceptable. If you have any type of older prestige gear, that's fine as well. Things that are not acceptable is any non-prestige branded uh, clothes that are onto the floor. We don't mind baseball caps, which are fine. Baseball caps must be facing forward, not back or off to the side. And if it is a baseball cap, it must be black and plain no sports teams or any other type of stuff that's on the uh, on the cap any type of sweaters or any type of winter cover is going to be okay but you also want to make sure it's black and you also want to make sure that the prestige logo is being shown uh, on the front of your shirt as well um, when it comes to lower garments you want to make sure that they are black or dark colored pants or shorts oh when you're training with your clients, you're gonna be in personal contact with them. You always wanna make sure you have good hygiene from making sure that your breath smells nice, so please make sure you brush your teeth or use mouthwash. And if you know that you had that garlic sandwich for lunch, make sure you take care of that too. Uh, and also make sure that if you are gonna be working out throughout the day, you have a nice change of clothes, we have showers here for you to use, and make sure you also smell nice and no body odor while you're training your clients. If you have facial hair, please make sure that it's very clean and well kept, making sure that it's trimmed up nicely, utilizing the smallest uh, trimming attachment that you have. We have a zero showing tattoo policy on the floor, so you wanna make sure that you are covering your tattoos, uh, whether they be as small as a dime or as big as a sleeve, all tattoos must be covered while you're training on the floor. So whether it be utilizing a long sleeve, uh, compression sleeves are also very popular, or if you want to use KT tape or band-aids for smaller tattoos, um, please make sure that all of your artwork is being covered up. Please make sure you're on time for all of your personal training sessions for your clients. I would suggest you show up at least five to ten minutes early so that way you can be mentally prepared for that client and making sure your programming is on point. Do not show up late. If you have an appointment with your client at 7 a.m., and you show up at 7.01, you are late. Do not be late. Cell phones are not permitted on the training floor. So while you're training your clients, if you need a stopwatch or a timer, please go and grab a traditional stopwatch from the store and utilize that. Uh, even though there are lots of very nifty apps while you're training your client, and there is some really neat things to show on your phone, we just do not want cell phones on the floor cell phone usage on the floor while we are giving tours or while other people are checking out the facility is a very very bad look because they have no idea what's on the cell phone it's the perception of oh personal trainers on their cell phone okay maybe i don't want to train here so we want to eliminate that as much as we possibly can so no cell phone use on the floor we very much know that cell phones are a pertinent part of communicating with not only with your clients but with family members and friends so please use that for after a session pop into one of the various rooms that we have here in the club the locker room or even outside but please do not use your cell phone while you are training your clients on the floor we also want to eliminate cell phone use to the front of the building too since that's the first thing that people see when they walk it walk through the door so no cell phone use on the couches as with any gym, make sure you're using proper gym etiquette when it comes to putting away things of where you got them from. If you got a mat from off of the hooks, make sure you go back to said hooks and put that mat back where you got it. 
Same thing when it comes to dumbbells. Make sure that you're putting dumbbells back onto the rack once you're done using it. Just be courteous to your other fellow uh, members of the club and also your fellow employees of the club. So we want to make sure that we're keeping this place nice and tidy for everyone. If you are the last person in the club, look around. Make sure that there's nobody else in the club employee-wise and you want to make sure that you close the gate behind you. The gate code will be given to you by upper management when you get hired here, so please write it down. Uh, you will also be give, using that same gate code when it comes to opening the gate as well. If you are between clients and you're waiting for your other client to show up and you're in the front in the foyer area, please make sure you are greeting all of the clients that are coming into the club and saying goodbye. Be courteous to everyone and also be courteous to your fellow coworkers as well. Please know foul language while you're training your clients on the floor or utilizing foul language in the club period. There is a lot of people that are into the club of all ages and they don't appreciate that language. So please don't say <coughs> topic of foul language. We also want to make sure we're not using inappropriate gestures like this. While working at Prestige Fitness, we want you to be able to make friends with your coworkers, to be able to grow with your coworkers and learn from one another. And it's one of the awesome things about being here is being part of the Prestige family. However, if you are with your clients, you want to make sure that you're giving your clients your full undivided attention. They should be getting 120% of your attention at all times. So if you have a trainer that is talking to you about what could be potentially happening this weekend, it's an inappropriate conversation to have. However, if your fellow trainer is asking you about if you're utilizing a piece of equipment or a machine, that's fine, that's just common gym etiquette. But making sure that you guys are saving your personal conversations for after the sessions with your client and not during. As a personal trainer, we know that you'll probably be putting in some hours into the club. That's just the life of a trainer. With that being said, we are all about making sure that you're keeping hydrated and that you have appropriate drinks onto the floor. So which are things like coffee and smoothies and water, all of that is fine. What we don't want on the floor is making sure that you're not chomping down on food while you're training your clients. You can bring food into the gym, just make sure that you eat it after your sessions or if you're in between sessions, that's fine, but not while you're training your clients. Depending on what service that you're doing here in the club, whether it be massage, posture, personal training, uh, or even being a dietitian, you want to make sure that your availability is in your calendar at all times. So make sure that your green availability is in at least two weeks in, in advance. And also you want to make sure that your unavailability is there as well so you can generate your invoice in a timely manner. Lastly, we want to make sure that Prestige Fitness is a positive environment for everyone into the club. And we very well know, especially if you are a veteran trainer, that your clients will basically utilize you as therapists and they will tell you anything and everything in the world, which is fine. I look at it as it's their time if they want to utilize it to tell you about their life. I think that's okay. Uh, but at least for me, they're going to get beaten up while that happens too, in a good way, of course. However, it should not be reciprocated. We want to make sure that everything here stays positive. So if you're having a bad day, a lot of wonky things are going on in your life right now, come and talk to uh, me or you can talk to any of the management about it. Uh, if you just need somebody just to talk to and just let it out, I'm completely fine with you pulling me into the office and say, hey Sean, I got some things going on right now. I just wanted to let you know in XYZ. However, make sure you're not spilling that information to your clients. You don't want to be that Debbie Downer trainer that your client comes to when they're expecting a positive experience and all of a sudden you're just dropping this bomb on them of all this negativity that's going on in your life. That's not what they're there for. They are here for a positive experience, they're here for an amazing workout, and they're here for a transformation that's unlike any other type of facility. And in order for that to happen, we wanna make sure we keep things as positive as we possibly can. So let's make sure that we do that.